Hey Cancer, it's Star with Eyes of the Stars Tarot. Thanks so much for joining me for your December uh, love relationship and also finance and career reading. Um, I just wanted to mention next month for the month of January, I'm going to be doing the whole story readings, which I know a lot of you really like, so I just wanted to put it out there so that you guys are looking for those. Um, it's a much in-depth reading, so definitely something to look out for. Okay, let's get started. I just want to get one of these oracle cards to see the overall energy around love and romance for you. Overall energy. Okay, there's one. Okay, we have sexuality and take off your mask. Hmm. It's here. Hole in the heart is at the bottom of the hole in the soul is what it is. At the bottom of the deck. Let's see. Six of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Queen of Cups. That's you. And we have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like you guys have been denying yourselves of a sexual relationship um, or being intimate maybe with a particular person. But I feel this is more general. I feel like this is more for the singles, which is not usual. Usually we get more energy for couples but this time I kind of feel that this is for singles somebody who has been or you guys have been um, choosing to stay out of the dating scene but the needs and desires are kind of taking over okay so I'm kind of feeling like you have been fooling yourself into thinking that you don't need this intimacy that you're fine on your own because maybe you've been dealing with uh, you know some painful situations that you've been trying to heal from and yeah seeing there's healing here and then there's selling out so it's like you feel that your heart is not really into it into whatever sexual relationships uh, you know you may have been involved in um, or you just chose to not be involved in sexual relationships because your mind was elsewhere your heart was elsewhere and you kind of felt like you if you were then I don't know like you were doing something wrong or you were, were being deceitful because you really for this time period you you have been not really open to relationships or anything like that you were more focused on yourself and your healing um, through some pain that you have gone through but I, I do feel that you know you're you're getting to the point where you need to feel close to someone or you want to feel close to someone and it's time it's time for you to move on to you know get out there show your face um, and tell people what you really want because I do feel like you have definitely been holding back and again it's because of sadness that you've been holding on to so it's made you approach life in a more independent sort of way um, which is you I mean you you uh, feel this this independence however you still need the love okay so that's what I'm getting so far for you guys let's take a look cancer this is for December 2019 one more one more shot star healing okay let's take a look the Emperor reverse some of you could have been dealing with an Aries or this is just uh, a feeling of instability lack of control let's see what the challenge is the challenge is the nine of wands reverse letting something go 
putting your guard down, letting something go, letting people um, approach you. Let's see. Knight of Cups reverse, yeah. Your your heart has been closed off. It's like you you really were not offering your love to anyone. Um yeah, let's see. What else? In the past. The past. We have the magician. So a new beginning. What's crowning is the five of uh sorry, wands reverse. Near future, we have the Six of Pentacles reverse. How you see yourself. Six of Wands reverse. How your partner sees you or the energy around you. Strength reverse. Hopes or fears. Three of Wands, Reverse, and the Four of Swords. And the overall outcome, Nine of Pentacles, Reverse. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. Okay. okay. Whoa. Okay, so Ten of Swords, Reverse. So like I said, Something happened in the past that really messed you up, okay? Either you were betrayed by someone or there was a very difficult ending that you went through um, and you just basically felt like your your world, you, everything around you was just out of control, complete complete instability. Yeah, and, the, and in the past we do see a new beginning happening. So there was some kind of ending and a new beginning. For some of you, this could be like... Um, a divorce, a very difficult divorce, okay? The, the, there's like a male energy here in the reverse, so could be that as well, but it doesn't have to be. Um, I, I, do, I, just, I do see an ending, though, and a new beginning that happened uh, in the past. But you are feeling out of control. Like not, uh, like you haven't, yeah, see? Queen of Swords reverse. One couple more. Okay, what came out here? The Nine of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so this may not be talking about like one particular instance. I feel that for some of you this is just about relationships themselves, you know? <coughs> so past situations where you've been hurt, um, maybe you feel a little bit jaded, a little bit bitter about certain situations because you had no control over it, okay? I also feel there's a lot of disappointment here. So this was like you uh, waiting, you know, waiting for you to get this happy ending, this wish fulfillment, and it never happened. It ended in Five of Cups. It may have ended in you having to cut somebody out of your life because maybe they were just wasting your time. Could have been somebody who was very controlling. You may have had uh, somebody in your life, possibly an Aries, who was very controlling um, and could have uh, been stringing you along. I feel like there's this feeling of being strung along and you felt almost betrayed because of that. Now, the challenge is the Nine of Wands reverse. So now you're having difficulty bringing your guard down and allowing new people to come into your life. Okay. We have a King of Pentacles and a Four of Cups. Um, some of you could be having trouble letting go of an Earth sign, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. I don't know if this person like either you were offering love to this person and they didn't take the cup 
you know they didn't take they didn't accept the love or they rejected you or vice versa but I, I kind of feel like it's vice versa because I feel like the challenge is, is you letting go of this person okay so the reason for everything here we have the Knight of Cups reverse the moon in the reverse so yeah there's there's something that you know now and that's why your heart is closed off the ace of cups wow the ace of wands The Four of Rods. Okay, so what I see here, you had an experience with, with someone in particular or just experiences in general, negative experiences with relationships in the past where people just disappointed you. They, they promised things that they never fulfilled um, or maybe you were just stuck in relationships that you realized later on like you could have done better you know, so I feel that you had this revelation about what you truly wanted that maybe you were denying yourself before, maybe because you didn't know your self worth or whatever. But I feel like you've been through some shit. <laughs> you've been through something. Um, and through this process, it's kind of uh, made you more aware of what you truly deserve and what you should be working towards because it's what you really want. And I feel like this is you want a relationship where you see a future you know you're kind of tired of those connections where you don't really know where it's going and it's probably not going anywhere and you know they're wishy-washy kind of people um, or the total extreme opposite people who want to control you and dominate you it's like you, you've had a taste of both extremes and they've left a bad taste in your mouth and so now you're seeing with great clarity what you truly want for yourself for your future and it's hard to find that and so that's why it's almost like you're you're so disappointed and disillusioned that you've closed your heart off uh, because I don't know if you feel like you're, you're never gonna find this or uh, let's see in the past, we have this magician, so there was a new beginning here for you. Okay, interesting. The magician and the hangman. Mm, okay, let's see. Wow, see? The Ten of Cups. I feel that you went through a spiritual awakening. It's like the universe wanted to put you on hold, so to speak, like put you on ice. <laughs> you were on ice. You were on standby um, because they wanted you to see life from a different perspective. They wanted you to see how happy you deserve to be. That's what I was just saying. How, how you know, what is truly out there that would fulfill you, okay? Because I don't think you were clear on that before. I, I, I feel like you thought you knew um, or you didn't really think about it you were more you approached relationships in a more um, spontaneous sort of way um, but there's something about a new beginning like a different approach to things and 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 the different approach is because the universe wanted you to see that there was a different way there there is different out there five of wands in reverse is what's crowning. We have the Knight of Rods reverse. Yeah, I just feel that you have these player type characters around you. So people who are non-committal, they they just come and go as they please, which you know we have here the Knight of Wands. Um, and so you don't want to be a part of those connections anymore. We have this emperor again. So there could be a, uh, an Aries who is significant in your life. Let's see here. Or you're looking for an emperor. 
That could be it. You've been waiting for an emperor. Like somebody who's got their shit together, they're well established, you can count on them, they can support you, you can support them. You are the empress, you want your emperor. You're tired of these knights of wands that come and go and, you know, they're only good for one thing. Okay, the strength card reverse. I feel the issue here, <clears throat> one of the reasons that I feel that a lot of you have indulged in these um, casual relationships or superficial relationships or, or just relationships with men or women who tend to be emotionally unavailable or there's some reason why they, they don't want to commit. It's almost like either you consciously go for those type of people or subconsciously go for those type of people. because even though deep down inside you want somebody like the emperor like i said somebody you can really count on who, who can be like your rock and this this could be male or female even though that's truly what you long for you are kind of intimidated by that but you've had enough knights of wands to 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 last you a lifetime to know that it leaves you feeling unfulfilled and I feel that you're tired of feeling unfulfilled in every relationship you are now ready for the real deal and you don't want to you know waste your time anymore you don't want to waste your time with these other kind of connections okay so near future six of Pentacles reverse clarified by the six of Pentacles upright okay <clears throat> The Chariot Reverse, that's your card. I feel that there's people who are going to be giving you attention. <clears throat> Excuse me. Who are going to be giving you attention, but you're not open to giving it back. <laughs> Death card. Um... The Hermit Reverse. I'm seeing here a situation where um, you're realizing that you've grown as a person, you know, spiritually, you, you've grown, you've matured. And there's a part of you that died. You know, that part of you that gives in excess, that um, doesn't ever expect anything back, that never looks far enough ahead into the future to say, well, what does this person have to offer me? You, I, I feel like you just went into the con connections like with the fool type of energy. Not that you're a fool, but the fool type of energy is very um, happy-go-lucky and, you know, just doesn't really think too much too far ahead they're very spontaneous and like I said it, it's either on a subconscious level or a conscious level where you ended up in relationships with people who didn't really either didn't have anything to offer you or just didn't want to offer anything because they were offering to too many people and so you were really only getting crumbs whereas now I feel like that's being put to an end here in the near future. I feel like you're still kind of processing this and, and um, uh, coming to terms with like the new you, but you're no longer going to be accepting crumbs. That's what I'm seeing. Like this is the end of you accepting crumbs. You've, you've grown enough to know what you truly deserve. And so how you see yourself now is the six of wands reverse. Which is like, you feel like you failed somehow, or you're not getting the recognition or, or you know, that you deserve. People maybe, or you feel like you're not being respected the way that you should be. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Okay, so there may have been a failed marriage. You feel like you fail at relationships. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Maybe you feel like, um, you know, it takes too much work or... 
it's just too much time you have to dedicate to someone and you know you you're kind of feeling like you're not good at relationships you're bad at love that but that's not true cancer of all signs really cancer no mm -mm, no maybe some other signs that will remain nameless but not cancer you're not bad at love at all um this is just you looking for love in, in all the wrong places three of rods reverse yeah so it's like you stopped looking you stopped waiting for that prince charming or that um you know i don't know what's what's the equivalent of prince charming for for men whatever your dream person you stopped waiting for them because you just feel like you know relationships have just been a struggle for you so why even bother going down that road but why bother is because you deserve it you deserve a good relationship in your life you just hang in there because they're coming let's see energy around you we have the strength card reverse and the queen of cups reverse so what's happening here is that you have this energy that like i said you're closed off and people are sensing that and so you're kind of intimidating people who may want to approach you there's somebody who wants to approach you but they feel intimidated because they don't see that you're open to um, connections hopes or fears we have the three of wands reverse and the four of swords Clarified by the Nine of Swords Reverse, Six of Rods, I feel like um, you're saying to yourself, because I do feel like there was a time where you were very much in the dating scene, and you feel, like I said, that you were not good at that, it didn't work out for you, so it's almost like you are hoping that if you just don't think about it, um, don't put any energy or thought into it that things will eventually just work themselves out and, and work to your favor which could be now the overall outcome is the nine of pentacles reverse two of pentacles six of swords nine of rods where was that one? Oh, here is the challenge Ooh, okay five of swords So I see you here as deciding that even though you know you have changed, you're a different person now, and you're not going to take what you took in the past. You're not going to accept what you accepted in the past. I do see you here kind of ready again, ready to, I don't know why I want to say fight another day because it's not really, it doesn't really fit, but for some reason that's what's coming out to like fight another day to to try again you're going to be ready to try again believe it or not even though right now i don't feel like you see yourself being there but you will you, you it's like you go back and forth and and there's days there may be days where you're you're all okay so all systems go we're going out there again we're going to talk to people we're going to meet people and then you encounter any kind of resistance or you encounter like one other asshole or whatever and and you're like oh forget it i'm not i'm not going to do this again but you know you go back and forth and so i don't know i feel like um it may be a slow process okay you're just kind of getting your feet wet and and but eventually it'll you'll get back there for some reason you've been through something really harsh um but yeah see ace of pentacles there is a new, wow page of cups reverse another page so definitely new beginnings are coming they're just on hold because there's um yeah there's something that you're not seeing fully you're not seeing the truth or about something and and it's something about your emotion okay yeah okay 
So there's still a part of you, you have grown quite a bit, okay? But there is a part of you where emotionally you're still like very much affected by others or you're open to be very much affected by others. And so that's where you want to try to be is um, in a place where you have, you see how you're coming up here as a King of Cups reverse. You want to be in a place where you're, you've reached emotional maturity to where it doesn't matter what's happening around you, this doesn't change. This demeanor doesn't change. Of course, you may be stressed, you know, like everybody else, sad one day, you know, whatever. But your emotional peace and stability should be all your own, not um, open to manipulation by external forces. Okay, so yeah, I feel like there's there's something something additional or something that it's more for yourself. It's like um, there's going to be something that will enlighten you even further or give you more emotional security within yourself to where you're going to feel confident once again going out there into the dating world and meeting people and not being afraid of uh, being sucked into very negative um, situations because you will know that you've already been down that road and you know what it looks like. So you will recognize it if you start going down that road again. Um, but give yourself time. You know, I, I do feel like this is kind of, a, a, like I said, it, it's been a slow process. You're still not done. You've come a very, very long way. Um, but I, I still see you in this uh, frame of mind of maybe not having things under control. You don't feel like you have things under control yet. You feel like there's still a possibility that people can really do you in, you know, emotionally. And you just don't want to chance it, which is understandable. So, like I said, just give yourself time. All right, let's see the finance and career reading. card. Woo. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Magician Reverse and the Five of Pentacles. Lovers. bottom of the deck we have again this ten of swords reverse so again big changes in your life um, from the past that you're still kind of dealing with I feel like you are about to embark on a new beginning it hasn't happened yet because there's still like decisions that you need to make um, let me see let me clarify I don't know how this came out if it was upright or reverse but it's the nine of swords two of wands knight of swords reverse justice so I'm, I'm getting here um, a comfort zone 
uh, you being in a place where you feel comfortable, you feel safe, you feel, um, you know, you're getting paid what you need to get paid or, you know, as much as you, I mean, obviously we all want more, but, but it's like you feel okay wherever you are. You're not looking to venture out. You haven't been looking to venture out. But I feel there's a new beginning here that maybe you were trying to avoid because you didn't really want to get out of this comfort zone, whatever this is. This could be a job. It's the Ten of Cups, so it could also be like a family situation. So maybe some of you were living at home and it was comfortable for you because, you know, you had maybe your parents helping you. It's like you didn't want to leave there. You, you felt very at peace and in balance there. But there is a need here for a new beginning, something different. Something needs to end. There's, there's something ending, a cycle ending. But I don't feel that you've gone down that new road yet. Okay, so and it may be because of financial constraints. So let's see. Seven of Wands reverse. The Chariot, that's your card, okay. Two sevens. Five of Cups reverse and the Knight of Wands reverse. So yeah, again, I feel the universe is kind of putting an opportunity in front of you to have a new beginning. So this could be a new career or this could be uh, a move you know, like you being more independent is what I'm seeing here with the magician, you know. So you're going from like Ten of Cups where I feel you're surrounded by other people to this magician energy where, where it's just you. But I don't feel like there has been much motivation on your part to, to make this happen. Or you're, you're, it's almost like you're dragging your feet or something like that, but you know you have to go. You know, you're kind of resisting the change is what I'm seeing here. Okay, um, all right, let me see here. In the future, we have this Five of Pentacles, which is the Worry card, um, High Priestess Reverse. Okay, if you find yourself being worried later on in the month, just know that it's because, well, let me see here. Another five, well, this is actually the Hierophant. Hold on. Six of Cups revert. Okay. Okay. Ten of Cups reverse. Two of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so again, this Ten of Cups here, and then you go from, you're at this Five of Pentacles energy, and we have a lot of Cup energy here, okay? So the Hierophant Reverse is like a total change of your life. However your life was here in this comfort zone, it's totally changing to a more independent you. Um, but there's an emotional aspect here that's that's kind of, that's what's holding you back. There, there's something about like an emotional component to this. So again, some of you, this could be like you're leaving a job where you've been there for a long time. It, they feel like family. Um, and it's comfortable for you, but you would be better served moving on. Okay, regardless of how you feel emotionally, don't, you're, you're resisting a change that could be for the better. Um, it's supposed to make you stronger, be a more independent sort of person but you're allowing the emotions to kind of get in the way. Um, I feel like this decision, even though you may feel, you know, once you're here, you independent, once you've allowed this new beginning to happen, 
um, your life is going to be totally different and you may feel like you have you don't have the support system you don't have you know the old people that you used to talk to every day um, as a result of these decisions but I do see you being more financially stable like now you have more to offer financially you have more to count on however we do have the five of pentacles is um, like a lack so I feel like that's you mentally there's a feeling of lack but it's on a mental it's on a mental basis okay so I feel like I have to warn you here that if you allow your emotions to dictate your decisions it, it will lead to financial problems I feel like that you know you got to kind of detach for a little bit here because I, I, I sense a strong emotional component to this and that can Put you off track so let me see so the challenge is the full reverse is like the challenge is you taking that leap of faith of just going out there on your own and doing your thing let's see why I feel like once you make this change there is going to be a time where it's going to be a little rough okay I'm not gonna lie to you it's gonna be a little rough but it's supposed to be like that this is like your your start from scratch kind of moment okay where the decisions that you make at this time are going to be really really important in in the direction that you end up going on and that's why i'm saying there is a warning here not to let your emotions get the best of you make your decisions based on whatever is practical whatever is financially sound forget about the emotions here okay that's what I had to say there. Okay, let's see. Why is this the challenge? Full reverse. The emperor reverse. Yeah, you're afraid because you're losing control. You feel out of control. This is the same card we had for the love reading. So yeah, you're afraid to venture out on your own because you feel like you're not gonna have you're not gonna be stable. Um, you may, you know, encounter some financial issues. What is this? This is the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, this it's like this feeling, oh, I can't, I don't want to take the risk because then, you know, what if like my expenses are going to be too much or what if I lose my job? The Page of Swords. So this is, these are, these are like your thoughts. Your thoughts right now, you're having like um, self-sabotaging kind of thoughts. You're talking yourself out of becoming financially independent Let's see what this lovers is five of swords reverse six of wands reverse yeah again the negative self-talk is affecting your decisions yeah see page of cups re page of um, pentacles reverse and the four of pentacles so this can be you being very guarded okay um, I feel like you got to clear your mind uh, with whatever decisions you're making and stop thinking that you're always going to fail at something or that you're setting yourself up for failure or um, not taking up offers or new opportunities that are presented to you because you automatically assume that you know this is not going to be good for me I'm going to be uh, you know lose my stability I feel like you have this tendency of, of perhaps being complacent or staying in one place for way too long because you're afraid uh, of what the change you know can bring you but I feel in this case the universe is kind of guiding you toward a change in life <laughs> look at this at the bottom of this deck was the ten of swords reverse okay so this is about allowing a a change is happening an ending and at the bottom of this deck we have the full the new beginning so either way you look at it you're you're having a new beginning it may be rough at first but eventually you'll get there okay and then you'll feel so much better because it was you and you alone and you would have accomplished something really great if you you know play your cards right because it can go either way here I just see the the possibilities 
Now, if you go out there and, and you let fear take over or yet let your emotions take over because, oh, this felt so, so warm and fuzzy and I want to go back to here and never progress, then that will throw everything off. I feel like the opportunities are being put in front of you. It's up to you what you do with them. Right now, I feel you're struggling with the fear. So there you go. Um, I hope that was helpful, Cancer. Again, don't forget to watch the um, January readings. I may do like a special, you know, for private readings for the whole story since so many people like them. So I'll think about it and, and, and we'll talk about it in the next video. All right, Cancer, I'll see you soon. Bye.